Ever wondered who the king of Mbakanga was? That's right, it's Malathini. This musical maestro, hailing from the heart of Africa, dominated the Mbakanga genre like no other. His career spanned several decades, leaving an indelible mark not only on African music, but on the global music scene as well. His distinctive voice and unique style resonated with audiences worldwide, earning him the well-deserved moniker, the King of Mbakanga. Now let's move on to the countdown of the top 10 facts about Malathini. At number 10, Malathini, also known as Simon Inkabinde, was born on the 27th of July, 1938, in Alexandra, a township of Johannesburg, South Africa. He hailed from a humble background, but his passion for music was evident from a young age. Moving on to number 9, Malathini began his music journey in the 1950s. He performed with amateur groups before his distinctive bass voice caught the attention of talent scouts. His rise to fame was a testament to his hard work and immense talent. At number 8, Malathini's unique style set him apart. He was known as the Lion of Soweto, due to his powerful growling voice, which became a hallmark of his performances and recordings. Number 7 brings us to Malathini's influence on the Imbakanga genre. He was instrumental in popularizing this style of music, which blended traditional Zulu harmonies with Marabi rhythms, a genre that was born in the South African townships. At number 6, we delve into his collaborations. Malathini worked with a number of artists, most notably the Mahotela Queens, a female trio who provided the perfect harmonic contrast to his deep bass voice. These collaborations resulted in a myriad of hits, cementing his place in the music industry. Halfway through our countdown at number 5, we highlight Malathini's international fame. His music transcended borders, and he performed in countries across the globe, earning him the title of the King of Mbakanga. At number 4, we delve into the hardships Malathini faced. Despite his fame, he struggled with poverty and health issues, which added a poignant layer to his music and life story. The third spot is dedicated to Malathini's awards and recognitions. He received numerous accolades for his contribution to music, including a Lifetime Achievement Award at the South African Music Awards. At number 2, we remember Malathini's passing on July 27, 1999. His death marked the end of an era, but his music lives on. And at number 1, Malathini's influence continues to be felt in the world of music even today. His unique style, unmatched talent, and dedication to his craft have left an indelible mark on the music industry inspiring countless artists around the globe. So, there you have it, the top 10 facts about Malathini. From his humble beginnings to his rise as the king of Mbakanga, his unique guttural style that captivated audiences worldwide, to his collaborations with the Mahotela Queens. We've looked at his influence on modern music, his dedication to his cultural roots, and his enduring legacy. We even touched on his posthumous honors and the unforgettable mark he left on the South African music scene. Thank you for joining us as we celebrated the life and legacy of Malathini, the King of Mbakanga. Until next time, stay curious and keep exploring.